Welcome to this random chat video from Backwards Compatible. Today we're going to be looking at penalties, um, specifically from FIFA 14. Um, the reason that this subject's come up actually is because of last night's um, Co uh, Carlin Cup game, sorry, not Coca Cola Cup anymore, Carlin Cup game with Man United versus Sunderland. Uh, it ended up being um, not too bad a game actually, it ended up being a 2 1. 2-1 finish which made it 3-1 aggregate and that means the game went into penalties now um, from there I think it's gone down a little bit of infamy really ended up that um, of the 10 mandatory penalties that were taken at the beginning of the of uh, sorry during the penalty shootout uh, only 3 were scored which is a pretty low low rate of penalties actually um, yes there was some quite good goalkeeping but generally speaking it was because the strikers were missing or the penalty takers were missing their options um, admittedly, um, admittedly both I think Sunderland and uh, Man United didn't have their main penalty takers out there but you're thinking for a professional footballer why are they making so many mistakes obviously that can't really be answered now but so that brings us to FIFA now what I've always liked about the FIFA penalty system for years is the fact that whenever you play it there are um, there are variables that you have to control. As you look down the bottom left hand side you can see the um, the, the control meter. Um, if you stop the control in the red you get a great big reticule and you're gonna miss. If you stop the controller into the green like this you've got a much more small reticle, a lot easier to control, more chance of shooting. On top of that when you do stop the reticule you also can control your power which can also change the size of your reticle so again making it more difficult to shoot. And then there's the last variable, which is probably the funnest one, is as you move your... I'm sorry, <coughs> do that again. As you move your reticle, the further, if you hold it down all the way, it can go from... So at the end of its running cycle, it speeds up, as you can see just there again. That means that every time you're doing it, you've got to control the three variables to shoot, as well as, of course, deciding whereabouts you're going to place this reticule to try to beat the goalkeeper. Now at the moment, obviously, this is just a training game, so what we're trying to do is we're just trying to hit those... Um, little targets and it's not too difficult there are the difficult ones in the bottom corners which are always the, probably the best places to take penalties like this one here um, but I do think that this is probably you know the closest that gaming football um, is probably the best way to put it is ever going to recreate the pressure of a penalty um, it makes it more difficult obviously when you are playing the game if it is a pressure penalty it does give you the uh, vibration into the controller. Um, I am playing on the PC but I have got a Xbox 360 controller as you can see from the B and Y stuck on, stuck on the screen there um, and it just again it just gives you that little bit more um, realism so this is the word to put it but that, that pressure in the game does make it a lot more fun. Um, I'm not sure if the standard Man United players use this uh, for training but it could be quite handy but it just is one of those funny little situations now of course with the World Cup coming up uh, and England's notorious ability to get knocked out of every single thing on penalties it's going to be quite interesting to see um, if Roy Hodgson's able to actually uh, coach some of his some of the, the England players to cope with penalty shootouts obviously I think every Englishman hopes that England aren't going to get knocked out on penalties or even go through on penalties but you know in a Com cup competition is something we always have to expect so I uh, hope this has been just a fun little look at uh, penalty shootouts in FIFA we're going to be bringing you more FIFA videos as time goes on um, so if you if you like the video please give it a like uh, if not then please just mention why um, and we'll be trying to get bring a few more of these videos as time goes on trying to uh, a little bit about you know, football in general and a little bit about um, different things around the area okay thank you very much for listening and good night